For this lesson, students will accurately measure items to the foot. Students will describe the relationship between feet and inches. But first, let's read a story. Bell Snails to One Lizard, A Tale of Mischief and Measurement by Susan Hightower, pictures by Matt Novak. I sure do love to watch you work, Milo, drawled Bubba Bullfrog as he sprawled back in the cool grass by the riverbank. In fact, there's nothing I like better on a warm day than watching a beaver work. I'd even give you a hand, but we bullfrogs don't have big strong teeth, or sharp claws, or nice flat tails like you do. You make a fine audience, Bubba, answered Milo Beaver. But if I don't get some help with this branch soon, the pond may be dry by summer. What? Bubba sat up. The pond dry? Today is April 1st, and it's the last month of the rainy season, explained Milo. If I don't get that dam fixed before the rain comes, all the rainwater will run off downstream and our little pond will be dry all summer. Hmm. Dry pond? No bugs? Wait a minute, Milo. I may not have strong teeth or a flat tail, but we bullfrogs are very smart fellows, boasted Bubba. And I'd be happy to think about your problem for a little while. Thinking isn't going to patch that hole in my dam, Bubba. I found a nice strong branch yesterday, but it was a bit too big, so I took a little off each end. Then it was too small, and it washed right through. Milo scratched his head. I have to figure out a way to cut a branch so it will fit just right. Well, you know, said Bubba, my nephew's hopping class hopped that part of the creek just the other day, and their teacher told them it was exactly 36 inches. Well, how long is an inch? asked the beaver. Oh, I'd say an inch is about as long as a healthy snail, Bubba replied. One snail, you say? Hmm. If one snail is as long as one inch, and I were to line up 36 snails, feelers to tails, they would measure 36 inches, right? Well, sounds like quite a job, rounding up all those snails, Bubba answered. But I believe 36 healthy snails, feelers to tails, would measure 36 inches. I don't know what I'm going to do, Bubba, sighed Milo, sitting down for a rest. These snails are the slowest creatures on earth. They're happy to help, but by the time I get all 36 lined up, the rainy season will be gone. Bubba leaned back. Well, Milo, I seem to recall that 12 inches equals one foot, so 36 inches is the same as three feet. Well, how long is a foot? asked the beaver. Oh, I'd say a foot is about as long as one of the iguana boys, answered Bubba. An iguana lizard, you say? If one young lizard is as long as one foot, and I were to line up three young lizards, nose to tail, they would measure three feet, which is the same as 36 inches, right? Lizards aren't slow like snails, and I do believe if you line up three lizards, nose to tail, they would measure three feet. know what I'm going to do, Bubba, panted Milo, plopping down for a rest. These silly lizards won't hold still. The rainy season will come and go, and I'll still be chasing them. Well, Milo, said Bubba, it seems to me that 36 inches equals 3 feet, and 3 feet is the same as 1 yard. Well, how long is a yard? asked the beaver. Oh, I say that a yard is about as long as Betty Jane Boa, answered Bubba. Hmm, so if I could get Betty Jane to stretch out next to this branch, I can measure one yard, which is the same as three feet, which is the same as 36 inches, right? Well, snakes aren't slow like snails. Since there's only one of Betty Jane, you don't have to worry about part of her running off and getting into trouble while you're lining up another part. And I do believe she measures very close to one yard. Bubba, Milo whispered. 
Betty Jane seems happy to help, but I sure don't like the way she's looking at me. How do I know Betty Jane measures the yard anyway? Well, Milo, I do believe that Betty Jane is one yard long snake. In fact, I'll prove that I'm right. Wait here. Here, Milo. This is a yard stick. It is exactly one yard long. Put it down next to Betty Jane and tell me if that isn't one yard long snake. Wait just a minute, Bubba. You're telling me that this stick is exactly one yard long? It sure is. See, it's divided into feet. There are three of them. It's also divided into inches. There are 36 of them. Yep, that's one yard exactly. You mean, I didn't have to spend hours pushing those slimy snails into a line? I didn't have to run myself ragged trying to get those lizards to stand still? I didn't have to risk my life with that snake? I could have just used this piece of wood to measure 36 inches? Say, that's right, said Bubba Bullfrog with a grin. I guess next time you'll want to borrow my yardstick. Too bad, I was hoping for a few inches of frog. Milo the beaver was trying to patch up a hole. How wide of a hole needed to be patched up? 36 inches. What type of animal was suggested first? Snails. How long was each snail? So Milo needed 36 snails, which it was really hard to gather up all those snails. What type of animal was suggested second to try? Those iguanas, or lizards, right? How long was each lizard? 12 inches, or one foot. So how many inches are in one foot? 12. Well, those three pesky iguanas were not holding still for Milo to measure that distance, that length. So what type of animal was suggested last? The snake. How long was the snake? 36 inches, 3 feet, 1 yard. All of those are correct. So how many inches are in a yard? 36 inches. How many feet are in a yard? 3 feet. Now a foot, it's a customary unit of length equal to 12 inches, abbreviated with FT. There are a variety of measuring tools for measuring length. There are a variety of measuring tools for measuring length. Uh, rulers, yardsticks, measuring tape. How can knowing the number of inches in a foot help you find where the feet are marked on your measuring tools? Remember that there are 12 inches in a foot, so the feet should be marked every 12 inches. Now you go on a measurement hunt. Using your ruler to figure out those that are about one foot, then maybe you need a yardstick or measuring tape to find items that are those other lengths.